and welcome back to my channel. It's Haley Mae. If you guys don't know who already who it is already, geez, I can't already speak. And this is a story time video. My golly, this is gonna be difficult. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I got my tea in my beautiful um honeybee cup. Look how great this is. Hold on, I just want to share this with you before I like start blabbing on. But look at this. It says, be the change you want to see in the world. And this cup actually changes. So when it's cold, it's blue, and then when it's hot. It becomes all these beautiful colors. It's just so wonderful. So this video is going to be kind of a serious video, kind of a like laugh at myself video because I mean, what what better way to start your day than to laugh at yourself? <laughs> um, like I all I do all the time. So this is a story time video about my boyfriend who turned gay or who was gay, probably didn't turn gay, I don't know, anyways, I don't know, but I want to start the story out and I want to get right straight into this video because it is kind of a longer story uh, video and so let me just get comfortable here, let's get comfy, let's get comfy, comfy, comfy. So I'm doing the whole Kim Kardashian like wet hair look, I hope you guys like it, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Where do I start? This was like one of my first serious relationships um, so it's kind of a hard blow, to be honest. To this day, like, I can laugh at it and I can laugh it off, but to this day, I'm kind of still a little bit affected by it, to be honest. And I think anybody would be, um, so I'll give you a little bit of backstory. So basically, in high school, um, there was this boy that really liked me in high school and gave me all the right signals, very handsome, he had, like, chiseled abs, like, he had like a Greek god body like I'm not even kidding guys he was hot like so good looking and his body was like oh, hot damn hot <laughs> and so basically um, for Valentine's Day I didn't even know he liked me at that point I had talking to him in class and we actually did radio together um, there's like radio station at our high school and we did radio together and we're also in student council yes I was part of student council throughout all of high school uh, and the radio and so um, I knew him from there and I never really thought he liked me in that way and then uh, it came Valentine's Day there was two boys who liked me one who was like a really good friend of mine he was like my best friend and I don't know if I want to I'm not gonna say like real names but um, let's see let's let's call one Ray one is Ray and one is Christian because Christian Gray oh hot so let's just call Ray and Christian so Christian is the one I was in student council with and doing the radio things with and Ray was the one who was my best friend that really liked me for a very 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 long time and he also expressed his interest in me during Valentine's Day so all in all um how it happened was that <sighs> We were, I was in math class, like I went to my math class and there was carnations on my desk on Valentine's Day and a note and I think like a little basket of chocolate or something like that if I can remember correctly. This was in grade secondary 3 which is in grade 9 I believe or grade 10? No, grade 9. Grade 9 for us. Um, and so I was very shocked that I had got that and at the time Christian was actually sitting next to me and he had seen that I got that. and he was like who was that from and like asking a bunch of questions and you can see like visi visibly see that he was annoyed and upset that someone had left me flowers because when I went back to my locker he Christian had left me a note basically like confessing his love for me and it was really deep it was like a poem and it was super deep he wrote it and it was very long and just going on about how beautiful I was and just you know those normal type of things it's mostly puppy, puppy love at that point though, um, and so I was pretty shocked. I had never even had a boyfriend really before, like I wasn't into guys all that much, and so now I had like these two guys on Valentine's Day and I was like, what do I do? Like, what do I do? And um, basically, Christian came to my locker after I got the letter and I was just like, it was so heartfelt, and then all of a sudden he like grabs my hand and he's like, do you want to walk around with me? And basically when you're in high school, if somebody like walks around hand in hand, that usually means that they're in a relationship, they're dating. Um, and so that's kind of how it happened. That's how we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And um, I feel bad for my, my Ray friend. He's super sweet, but I just wasn't into him that way. Um, never was, and I don't think I could be. But anyhow, um, 
basically, we walked hand in hand, and the whole school was like, oh my gosh, like, we knew it, blah, blah, blah. And that happened, and we were together for about four months, four months before our first kiss. And that's kind of where, like, the red flags kind of came, because we were alone, like, at a lot of points. And, and this is in grade, like, 10, so, I mean... At that point, like, a lot of students, or a lot of students, I mean, a lot of teenagers are already kissing, making out, all that stuff, right? Like, in grade 10, it's already packing on the PDA. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, like, all my friends are doing that, uh, or most of my friends. And basically, I was just like, wow, all we do is, like, hold hands, and there was other clues, too, along the way, basically, where he would talk about other girls and, like, gossip a lot. Like, he would call me every single night, and we'd have, like, hour-long conversations, but he would, like, gossip about the other girls and student council and, like, call this one a bitch, and I was just like, guys, do guys usually do that? I didn't think anything of it, because I didn't have any, guy, like, experience, boyfriend experiences, so I didn't think anything of it at the time. And I just kind of brushed it off and basically after I think it was like six months I had tried to like French kiss him. I really love kissing and I enjoy French kissing uh, I don't know a lot of information, but I tried to French kiss him and he kind of like backed away from me And I was like is everything okay? Like I've never gotten rejected before like that. It was quite an odd experience and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine and um and I was like, okay, like, we're at school, and I was like, so this weekend, we were supposed to go to his cottage, he had, like, a cottage his family had, and we we're gonna be alone, and so I'm like, okay, so, and he had his car, so he drove at this point, we're, we're, like, all older, and he's like, oh, yeah, sure, and, um, so we go to his cottage, and again, like, at his cottage, we're having a good time, we're taking pictures together, everything's going well, and again, I try to kiss him, and he's like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not really used to it, like, I, I don't know how to, to kiss or whatever, and I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine, that's normal, I'm like your first girlfriend, which I was his first girlfriend, um, and then he goes into this discussion, he gets all serious, and he's like, so there's something I wanted to talk to you about, and I was like, ooh, red flags, red flags, red flags, I'm in the middle of nowhere, how do I get home, no, no, just kidding, <laughs> not like that, but he was like, so basically, I think I'm bisexual, and... I wanted to tell you that I'm bisexual. I think I, I might like guys. And I'm like, uh, okay. I was so shocked. I'm like, well, have you ever experienced anything with guys? Like, how do you know this? Like, I, I don't know. I was just so, like, at that point, I was shocked. And I just wanted to understand where he was coming from. I wasn't at all, like, judging him or anything like that. I just wanted to know where he was coming from because uh, to that date, I only knew he only dated me. So I was like, okay, is it me? Like, what is it? I'm, I'm a little bit, like, confused at this point. He's like, no, like, I love you. Everything's great with you. You're beautiful. I'm attracted to you. It's just, I thought that I should tell you that, um, I think I might be bisexual. And I was like, oh, okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. And I'm like, okay, does that mean you want to break up with me? Like, what is this? Like, what does this mean? And he's like, no, 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 I want to stay with you. I just wanted to be honest with you and just tell you that. And I was like, hey, I didn't really see the point of him telling, like, I, I, I really liked that he was honest with me and he told me, but I was like, what's the point? Like, there must be some kind of, like, hidden meaning or something. And, um, no, there was, like, nothing. And so I kind of, like, accepted it and I was like, okay. Um, I mean, a lot of people like to, exp like, just kind of uh, realize their sexuality at a young age when they're teenagers. That's when you're really developing your sense of se sexuality and um, figuring things out. So at that point, I wasn't super concerned. I was just like, oh, okay. Um, but he's still attracted to me and he still wants to date me. So we continue our relationship from there on. And we dated for well, all of uh, high school, actually, until we went to college. And um, there was always clues, like... Uh, in the pool, like, I would, because he had such a nice body, he really, 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 really did, and so I would try to, like, you know, cuddle and try to kiss and stuff, and he was always very, like, hesitant or resistant, I don't know how to explain it exactly, so there was clues there for me, and I should have known, but I was young, like, you're young, you don't know these things, and then we went into college, we went to prom together, that was all fine and dandy, but, like, some things had happened in prom where I heard, like, he might have kissed a boy and like cheated on me and that was really rough like I didn't know how to feel I was like you're being cheated on but not with like a woman with a man 
And that is just, it's kind of a blow to your self-esteem. Honestly, you're just like, am I not enough? Like, what is this? I'm so confused. It was just really, really awful. And basically, when I, we got over that, we, we fought about it. And he, like, explained himself and basically said it didn't really happen. Whether I did or not, I don't know. It's just things that I heard. We went to college together. That's where it gets a little bit mm, bad. <laughs> went to college together and of course we're out of the house like we have our own places so <sighs> okay first off guys a little thing as well not a flag but like a little pointer if a guy <laughs> this is so bad if a guy actually decorates his apartment nicer than yours often the case is that he's gay he had flowers in his house he had like like beautiful shams and rugs and like he would put pictures of like flowers on the on the the walls and just a lot of like really feminine things that you would see a woman um decorate i get guys like to decorate but usually they like to decorate in a more like maybe modern or like classy which is fine he was really feminine so basically that's that and then i tried um to like one night we were watching TV, we're on the couch, we're laying down next to each other and I kind of like try to wiggle up to him to see if like, you know, you get any reaction like you would normally with a guy and there was like nothing, like no reaction, nothing. And so, yeah, that was also pretty bad. <laughs> and I was just like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Am I not pretty enough? Like, what is this? Because he was really good looking, he was really hot and I was like, self-conscious like I didn't think that I was pretty for the longest time I had a lot of like insecurity issues um, especially in high school and, and going on to college so I was like what is going on and then one night I found out we went out to a club together and he was dancing with a guy and that guy wasn't in fact gay and really into my Christian my boyfriend at the time Christian and I kind of just like took a step back and I was like whoa like, they're really dancing. Like, they're really hardcore dancing. And uh, I was just like, yeah, I can't do this. Like, I can't do this. Like, I just, I, I don't even think he's into girls at that point. And so I left without even telling him. And I went back home. And then he later on came to see me at my apartment. And he was really, or residence, because I was in residence at the time. He was really drunk. And he basically was like, I do love you, uh, it's just that I do really think I'm gay, like, I like men, and I want to explore that aspect of my sexuality, and, you know, at that point I was like, yeah, it really hurts, it sucks, it's my only, like, serious boyfriend, but I'm not gonna hold anybody back to do what they want to do, and, you know, now I just laugh it off, because I'm like, it was a good experience, in a sense, I got to have a gay boyfriend, which was kind of cool, because it was really, like, a best friend like a girl got to gossip shopping was awesome like shopping for things <laughs> that was a lot of fun um so we did a lot of fun things in that sense so I, I don't like regret ever dating him or anything like that but you know it's a hard blow to your confidence when you're like wow am I not enough like it's not even it wasn't even that in the end he just really was into men and, and that's fine that's a, his personal preference and yeah so that was kind of my like dating experience I know it's kind of a long video but I wanted to do a, a more story time videos for you guys because I have experienced so much in my young life, in my 25 years of life on this planet. I have had so many crazy experiences. This was one of them that somebody had asked me and so I kind of was like, you know what, I'm totally going to make a video on that and, and I think people would like that. So if you guys like any more story time videos, please comment down below, let me know, thumbs up this video. Don't forget to be you and stay beautiful. Love you honeybees. Bye.